Hello, this is Jury Huang, a buyer bee who will deliver the latest honey-like news from the Korean bio industry to you earlier than anyone else in the world. Good to see you guys again. I'm back today to inform you of the most honey-sweet issues in South Korea's bio industry. Please don't forget to subscribe to Bio TV and set up notifications. By turning on notifications, you can receive the latest honey-like information even faster. Now, then shall we go and take a look at today's sweetie sweet news? Tujin, the company that holds the patent for genetic scissors, will be listed on COSDAC in December through special listing for companies with superior technology. This was finally realized after six years of attempt by Tujin to be listed, with the company finally being successful in its fourth try. Tujin's core technology is the genetic scissors, or CRISPR-Cas9. You might wonder what genetic scissors are. Simply put, it is a technology that cuts out and attaches DNA within the genes to alter their traits. Genetic scissors can be used in all living creatures, whether they be plant or animal, and it is anticipated that they will be applied in all kinds of industries, for example, the treatment of diseases or improvement of plant attributes and seed quality. In 2013, Tulgen applied for a patent for CRISPR-Cas9 to the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, but UC Berkeley and Broad Institute filed a conflict examination. So now they are going through a legal dispute over the patent application. Tulgen had objectively applied for a patent before UC Berkeley and Broad Institute and therefore was granted the senior party status from the patent trial and appeal board called the PTAB. According to statistics, the senior party is more likely to be recognized as the inventor that applied earlier in the conflict screening. Tulgen has already registered original patents for its genetic scissors in nine major countries. The company is planning to turn the genetic scissors technology into a business to develop therapeutics and improve animal and plant varieties. We look forward to seeing Tulgen transform in a global leader in biotechnology. It looks like the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy will organize a super budget for the R&D business. Motis, next year budget on R&D is likely to exceed 5 trillion Korean won for the first time ever. The 45.6% of the carbon neutral R&D budget will be intended for materials, parts and equipments, which is up by 8% from this year. R&D investment for the so-called big three future businesses, cars, bio, digital new deal, and semiconductors will increase. The budget for the national project on drug development will more than double. While a project for an advanced production of raw materials for vaccines was newly created. In particular, the R&D budget for biotechnology is 271.2 billion Korean won, which is up 14.4% from this year. Proof that there has been robust development of technologies that can actually be used in the market. That's all the honey sweet news we have gathered for you today. I hope it's been a big help to many people and I will be back soon with new and even sweeter issues related to South Korea's bio industry. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and turn on notifications. Bye!